Now here's an interesting consideration. What happens to MRI machines when the electricity goes out? Turns out it's pretty serious. And we are here at the Clinica de la Escuela de Medicina uh, in Puerto Rico. The staff was amazing and took us around the facility. They told us that once the hurricane cut off electricity, it was a race against the clock to make sure the MRI machine didn't explode. This is the MRI facility. Yeah. And when the MRI machine does not have electricity. Liquid helium turns to a gas, which then expands in the chamber and can crack it. And once that happens, you don't want that in your facility. And that costs tens of thousands of dollars. So basically, you don't want the electricity going out if you've got an MRI machine. The MRI machine would have exploded, but the staff at the hospital was able to reroute electricity from the generator to the MRI machine to keep it stable. We got some huge generators on both sides, and it's super loud and stinks like diesel. And who knows, maybe in the future, this clinic could be using solar and battery instead of generators to keep electricity on. Uh, they had a few people on the operating, in the operating room when the hurricane hit and power went out, and they had to finish the operations by light, the light of cell phones.